Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to see a name reaction or we can say a rearrangement called as Meckler-Ferti rearrangement. So, this is a mechanism of the Meckler-Ferti rearrangement that we will see in detail. And in which compounds can we see Meckler-Ferti rearrangements? In the radical cation or molecular ion that is formed from ketones, aldehydes and cyanides. For all these three compounds, we will see how a Meckler-Ferti rearrangement takes place. So, first let us understand what is, what exactly is Meckler-Ferti rearrangement. So, we are going to see Meckler-Ferti rearrangement in these three compounds. One is ketones. Ketones is this functional group. Aldehyde is CHO and cyanide is CN. Okay, so what are the key points or important points of Meckler-Ferti rearrangement? First is abstraction of which proton is abstracted? Gamma hydrogen. Gamma hydrogen or we can say gamma proton. This is which symbol? This is called as gamma. Okay, now what is gamma hydrogen? We will see. So this is a functional group that is a carbonyl group. And the carbon next to the carbonyl group is alpha. The carbon next to alpha is beta and the carbon next to beta is gamma. So, it is like this. This is a carbonyl group. Next carbon is alpha. Next to alpha is beta. Then next to alpha is gamma. And then next to gamma is delta. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta and so on. Okay. So, what we are interested in? We are interested in abstraction of the gamma hydrogen. Now, who will abstract gamma hydrogen? The carbonyl group. Okay, and why this gamma hydrogen is abstracted? That we have to see. Okay, this, this pi bond is going to abstract the gamma hydrogen. So, why it is abstracting? Because there is a formation of a, second important point is, there is a formation of a six-membered cyclic transition state. Formation of a stable Six-membered cyclic transition state. Six-membered cyclic transition state. Okay, why it is a six-membered? Let us see. One, two, three, four, five and hydrogen six. So, in this way, this is a six-membered cyclic transition state that is formed. So, that is why it is a stable transition state. That is why the gamma hydrogen is abstracted. What is gamma hydrogen? This was alpha. This is beta. This is gamma carbon. Hydrogen attached to gamma carbons are gamma hydrogen. Here there are three hydrogens. Any one of the hydrogen can be removed. So, now there are two mechanisms. We will see the mechanism now. Now, there are two mechanisms of Meckler-Ferti rearrangement. One is we can follow radical mechanism which is little bit difficult. The, in the sense that there are only one or two extra steps and the second is we draw arrow pushing mechanism. So, first let us see how first let us see how a radical mechanism takes place. So, again alpha, beta, gamma this gamma hydrogen is abstracted. So, this will undergo homolytic cleavage. What is a homolytic cleavage? If A and B are forming a bond, I want to do a homolytic fission how will I do homolytic fission? Both the atoms A and B will get one electron each. Okay, this is called homolytic. Homolytic means homo means same. So, that is why both the atom will get one one electron each. So, this will break. Okay, this will break and what we will get is. And at the same time what will happen? This radical of oxygen is going to form bond with this hydrogen radical. So, what will happen? CH3, C double bond O, this will pick up this proton. Now, radical has gone only, what will be remaining here is a positive charge. Then there is CH2, CH2 and then there is here there is a CH2 radical. Now, another thing that you have to remember is, there is one bond that is being broken. Which bond it is? It is between alpha carbon and beta carbon. Okay, alpha carbon and beta carbon. This bond is going to be breaking. So, the next step is, I can draw here, this is alpha, this is beta. 
so this bond between alpha and beta will break homolytically now this will break like this so what do we get we get ch3 c double bond o h positive charge and here ch2 will have one radical sorry here there is a positive charge on oxygen so ch2 radical plus here what will happen ch2 already there was one radical this this radical single bond ch2 it got another radical so what will happen both these radical will combine and form a double bond and which compound is released it is ethene ethene molecule is removed this is what this is the uncharged fragment I, as we had discussed in the earlier video of alpha cleavage i had told in both the rearrangements there is one uncharged fragment this is not detected and the other fragment this is a charged fragment that is going to be detected so they can ask the m by z value of this okay in in the next video we will see in many previous year questions nat type questions or numerical answer type questions you will see that they have asked you to draw the fragment and then they, will, they had asked you to find out the m by z value of the charged fragment okay so this is not completed here what is the next step next step is oxygen carbon this bond will break and what will happen oxygen will get its radical back and here there is this radical this radical and this radical will form a double bond this is the final fragment okay this was a radical mechanism now suppose i want to do arrow pushing mechanism how will i draw the arrow pushing mechanism again i am taking the same compound this was which compound this is 2 pentanone okay this is what this is 2 pentanone okay ch2 ch2 ch3 ch3 i am writing ch2h now here again this is having one positive charge and radical and now we are doing arrow pushing mechanism so we will directly abstract the gamma hydrogen so alpha beta gamma double bond will abstract this hydrogen a bond is formed between oxygen and hydrogen but the pi electrons of carbonyl carbon are attacking the hydrogen and this electrons of ch bond comes here and as i had told you bond between alpha and beta carbon is broken okay so in this way we can draw the product very fast using the arrow pushing mechanism radical plus charge double bond ch2 plus there is ethene molecule that is released okay so if you see this product and the product that we had drawn earlier this both are same okay both are exactly the same if i want to find out the m by z value of this fragment what it will be it will be how many carbons are present one two three three carbons how many hydrogen three plus two five so five hydrogen and one oxygen so carbon atomic mass is 12 so 12 into 3 hydrogen is 1 so 1 into 5 plus oxygen is 16 16 into 1 12 3 is 36 plus 5 plus 16 so this will be 36 5 and 16 this will be how much 6 2 is 12 plus 5 okay i have missed one hydrogen here there will be hydrogen this ab hydrogen is abstracted so this will be H6. 6. Okay, there are 6 hydrogen. 6, 3 is 18, 8, 1, 3 plus 2, 5. Okay, so total M by Z value of this is what? This is charged fragment M by Z value is 58. So if you see a, a fragment at 58, you can see the last video. We had got a fragment at M by Z is equal to 58. That is for that we had got from the McLefferty rearrangement. McLefferty rearrangement okay in the next video we will see the questions based on this McLefferty rearrangement that were asked in the previous year questions next is aldehyde what I have done I have done only one change instead of methyl I have brought hydrogen here so how this mechanism will take place again it is abstraction of alpha beta gamma hydrogen so this electron will come here and this electrons between alpha and beta carbon will be broken so what do we get h c double bond o positive charge 
single electron hydrogen here there is formation of double bond this will become single plus ethene molecule is lost okay again here what we, you can see here again this fragment if you find out the m by z value what is the molecular formula how many carbons are present here one two two carbons how many hydrogen two three four okay four hydrogen and one oxygen so again the form the method of finding the m by z value is same so two into carbon atomic mass is 12 plus four into one plus oxygen one into atomic mass is 16 so 12 twos are 24 plus 4 ones are 4 plus 16 so 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 24 is 44 so at m by z is equal to 44 we will get a fragment for this aldehyde this is which aldehyde if i want to write down the name of this 1 2 3 4 4 carbon so this is butanal butane and al means aldehyde so butanal so for butanal we will get a peak at m by z is equal to 44 that will be due to the charged fragment formed by McLeferty rearrangement so now the last is cyanides in cyanides also again what will happen we have to abstract the gamma hydrogen so this triple bond will abstract a proton and this will form ethene double bond and bond between alpha and beta carbon are broken and what is a product that is formed c double bond n here there is hydrogen radical positive charge and here this will form a double bond like this so ch2 plus ethene molecule is lost as a is lost this is the uncharged fragment and charged fragment now this for this charged fragment if i want to find out the m by z value it will be how many carbons are present two how many hydrogen two plus one three how many nitrogen one so this will be m by z value will be two into atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus three into atomic mass of hydrogen is one plus 14 into at there is one nitrogen atomic mass of nitrogen is one there is 14 so 12 to the 24 plus 3 plus 14 this is how much 24 3 and 14 so 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 3 11 2 3 4 41 so at m by z is equal to 41 we'll get the peak for the this charged fragment formed due to McLeferty rearrangement so here we come to the end of this video i hope you have understood in detail the two different types of mechanism of McLeferty rearrangement and how McLeferty rearrangement takes place in all these three compounds that is ketones aldehydes and cyanides in the next video we will see some questions based on McLeferty rearrangement that were asked in the previous year papers thank you so much